We will next look at shares. Many companies are very big, and very big company needs a lot of money to run their business. Besides borrowing money from the banks, this company can also get fun, well, money, from the public, you, me, anyone who want to invest. So these companies will issue shares, and anyone who buy the shares become the owners of the companies. So the holders of the shares or shareholders will enjoy the profit made by the companies. But they will also bear the risk if the companies do not do well. Now, what do you get when you invest in shares? There are generally three kinds of returns you get when you invest in shares. A company may issue dividends. It may issue bonus shares. And finally, there is this capital gains component when the price of the shares increases. Of course, if the price of the shares decreases. You suffer capital losses. When a company makes profits, it can reinvest the profits to expand the business. The company may also distribute part of the profits to the shareholders. In that case, the shareholders will receive dividends. So, if Company A declares dividends of five cent per share, and if you own eight thousand shares in the company. You will receive five cent times eight thousand shares, four hundred ringgit. Next, the company may issue bonus shares. In this case, the companies give additional shares for free to existing shareholders. So, if Company B announces bonus share issues of one to five. And if you own five thousand shares in Company B, you will receive one thousand shares from Company B for free. Lastly, even if a company does not issue dividends or bonus shares when it makes profit, you will still gain from the increase in the price of the shares of the company, because the share price of a company that makes profits is likely to increase. And you can sell your shares to realize your gains. Now let's look at this question. Isa bought two thousand share in Company C at two ringgit ten sen in February. The company issues dividend of twelve sen per share in April. She sold her share in October at the price of one ringgit sixty five sen. Find the ROI of her investment. Cost of investment is two ringgit ten sen times two thousand shares, which is four thousand two hundred ringgit. The dividends she received was twelve sen times two thousand shares, which is two hundred forty ringgit. The capital loss is. Two ringgit ten cent minus one ringgit sixty five cent times two thousand, which is nine hundred ringgit. So the ROI is dividend plus capital loss divided by cost of investment. So we have two hundred forty minus nine hundred. Divided by four thousand two hundred, and we get negative fifteen point seven percent. 